Sarah. Thank you so much for coming over and talking to us at TaiwaneseAmerican.org. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? What is your story? I spent most of my life in Taiwan. I only went to the U.S. for college. I went to Washington University. Before that, when I was in Taiwan, Taiwanese is just something in the back of my head. I never really considered my identity. And it is not until um, college that I started to get in touch with Taiwanese culture and started to realize how important like this cultural aspect it is that has influenced my life, my personality. Ever since I was little, I'm always a drawer. I've started adding new things like photography, like filmmaking. And I've always considered myself as an artist, even though like I want to do business, I want to do other things. I think deep down, I'm always an artist. I, I consider everything like some artistic and I want to see world through like a, an artistic lens. Can you talk a little bit about like what sparked you into going into filmmaking? It was in high school when one of my teachers, she was really into like short films and all the different like art cultures going on in Taiwan and that's when she introduced me to like filmmaking. At that time, I was just like doing film for school projects. But then I realized I feel like film helps me tell my story. Like sometimes mm -hmm. I struggle with writing. I have trouble like forming like my sentences and things like that. But when I'm doing film, I feel like I can like fully express myself. And then in college, I started taking like intro to film and we like watch films and analyze film. And that's when I started to realize like how film conveys culture. So that really like gets me on the path of like being a filmmaker or like just like being able to watch things not just film but like any kind of media and be able to be really aware of like how it's made and like what are like the cultural and like different like impacts that these medias are making. Can you like give us an example of uh, one film that you have made in the past that really spoke to you? During my first year in college I took like a making movies class and one of the films I made was about like the relationship between a kid and like her mom and how you cope with regret because like she has to deal with like losing her friend slash mother. And I think why that really speaks to me is that it is the first time that like I'm heading a project on my own and like really putting some of the emotions that I feel at the time and like transforming it into a film. What drives you in the work that you do? I feel like before it's always like I want to like make something different, make something new. But as time goes on, I think I started to try to like dig inside like what makes myself different. And that's like when I started to realize like how much the fact that I grew up in Taiwan has like impact how I worked and how I create my film. I feel like that's an experience that's like really different from everyone else. And that has obviously influenced how I see um, the world and what I want to show in my film. So I think a lot of the projects I've been thinking and like want to pursue in the future is like related to culture representation because I feel like that is a really important part that is still missing in Hollywood. I really like want to make sure everyone is speaking to, to their culture and being able to speak about their culture. Do you consider yourself as Taiwanese, Taiwanese American? Do you use them interchangeably? I mostly see myself as Taiwanese just because I've never grew up in America. So I feel like that American aspect is like sort of missing. But then like I spent a couple years in like the States and meet a lot of people who like consider themselves Taiwanese American. I rarely use like those two terms like interchangeably because I've always just considered myself Taiwanese. But like I see some similarities. Taiwanese American would also like Taiwanese food. They would also like know about like Taiwanese star. They would also like watch Taiwanese drama and things like that. I was shocked by that because I feel like people who grow up in America like they just have like access to like all these like Western culture that like is sort of like dominated in the world. So I also assume that they wouldn't be that aware of like the fact that they're Taiwanese. I feel like differences is that like just because we grew up in different places, there's like um, the people around you or like the politics that has like influence how you turn out as a person. You said um, like both Taiwanese and Taiwanese Americans sort of have that desire to promote Taiwan Taiwanese culture. Do you think it's like it's inherent that a lot of like Taiwanese people just have the like gravitas to promoting Taiwanese culture? This is my own theory but like I feel like it's because Taiwan is such a small space that we always feel the need to make our voice heard. I feel like it's common that like someone would be like oh you guys are Chinese or like you get 
they're like, oh, you guys are Thai. And I think constantly we're trying to make our voice heard. That is like why I'm doing it. I feel like there's a lot that Taiwan can offer and we really want the world to see it. Do you have like a favorite recent memory of Taiwan? I think like something that really screams at me is like how well Taiwan is taking care of this whole COVID situation. I feel like I can't be doing the things I'm doing here anywhere around the world. So like Three days ago, I went to this like tiny island called Xiaoliuqiu in Taiwan just for a Thanksgiving break. And that's not something I can do like if I'm in America. Also, that makes me realize how well are like people taking care of themselves. They're like following all the like mask wearing policy and things like that. And I think that is something that I'm like really proud of Taiwan for. What's the next big thing for you? This is probably not like a right now thing, but something I've always wanted to do is being able to come back to Taiwan and contribute to our film industry. We're really famous in like the art film like circuit, but like, we're not that famous in the commercial like circuit just because like Taiwan is small, our market is small. But I think I really want to try to do something to help like promote Taiwanese art and Taiwanese film and things like that. What is your favorite Taiwanese film? I think right now it's a film made by director Wei called Sai De Ke Balai. So it's about the Japanese shirt to like come to Taiwan to colonize and the sort of like conflicts between like the Japanese and the aboriginals. So they want to like protect their land. And for me, why that's my favorite is because I feel like that captures a part of like Taiwanese history. But also I feel like it's really well made. It like captures the beauty of Taiwan on top of like documenting this event. It shows like the culture, the the scenery, and I feel like it's just like a lot of things in one. Thank you so much, Sarah. We are really lucky to have you here. <laughs>